1 John chapter 3, verse 13. Do not marvel, my brothers, if the world hates you. Just yesterday, I saw a video in which a famous pastor in America said that one of the church members of his church asked him, What can we do to make the world like us more? What can we do to make the world like us more? It's not about getting the world to like you. In fact, it says in the scriptures many times that the world will not like you. Jesus said that the world hates him because he testifies that its deeds are evil. The more you become like Jesus, the more the world will hate you. Paul said in 2 Timothy that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. He didn't say all who consider themselves to be Christians. He didn't say all who go to church. He said all who will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. I know many people who live in North America just in the past few years that suffered persecution because of their faith. When they go out and preach the gospel, people would spit on them or throw different kinds of liquids, who knows what it was, at them. Yelling at them, cursing them, punching them, kicking them, assaulting them, doxing them, whatever they can do to cause harm to that person, they will do it. I know a couple people just in the past few years who have been beaten, even had their shirt ripped right off of them, who had their equipment stolen or destroyed. Why? Just because they preached the gospel, just because of their faith. Persecution against Christians is running rampant in North America today. Businesses shut down, canceled, boycotted. Why? Because of their faith. Because they say something that might offend somebody. Society is not advancing. Society is going backwards. We're going back to the early centuries of Christian persecution. It doesn't help that the media doesn't cover this at all, or if they do, they lie about it and they turn the victim into the perpetrator and the perpetrator into the victim. I've seen it over and over and over again. It doesn't help when the number one organization in the world that reports on Christian persecution does not report on this stuff in North America. Opendoors.org. Check out this map right here. It shows that North America does not have any persecution in it at all. You and I know that this is absolutely not true. That fact alone tells us that this organization, Opendoors.org, misses a whole lot of persecution. In other words, the numbers that Open Doors produces are actually much lower than the reality. They say that 13 Christians are murdered for following Jesus every day. I mean, for the past 30 years, I've heard that the actual number is over 300, but let's just say it's 13. Think about this. There's one member of a minority group that dies and the whole nation goes into riot. What about 13, at least 13 Christians every day? Let's scroll down here. See what they say, an average of 13 Christians killed every day. That's 400 Christians dying every month just because they follow Jesus. Down here a little bit further, this year, the total number of Christian martyrs increased from 4,305 to 4,761. Keep in mind that this number is likely to be much lower than the actual reality. See, they admit it right there because, especially in closed countries like North Korea and Afghanistan or conflict-ridden places like Somalia and Libya, killings are often done in secrecy and or go unreported. Not to mention what the media does not report in North America, you would be shocked. On their front page, Open Doors says more than 340 million Christians suffer high levels of persecution and discrimination for their faith. That's one in eight worldwide, one in six in Africa, two out of five in Asia, and one in 12 in Latin America. Keep in mind, these numbers are underreported. If any group should be a protected group, it should be Christians. And if you are not getting persecuted, yes, even in North America and even in the West, then something is wrong.